hello guys and welcome back to the channel so now guys this is a sign of the times that we're living in and i could not have imagined this sort of a thing 20 even 15 years ago but then of course now seeing it now does not really jar the senses as it would have about uh, 15 even years ago because about 15 years ago this would have come to you as a surprise but in the climate that we're living in now this does not especially uh, make you uh, flicker in any particular way guys i bring you this my gay song will be celebrated in nigeria a headline attributed to doni okupe so a few days ago i brought you a video about the son now of doni okupe coming out as gay within the nigerian space something that is still very much novel within the nigerian space of course the idea of a uh, same sex uh thing is not uh, especially novel but within the nigerian space it not it's not really something that is uh, fully within the culture so whenever it manifests it does uh, make the news and if it then manifests at this high a uh, profile within society because whether you like it or not doing okope is high profile then of course the news will reverberate around the entirety of the nation so here is now a father standing by his son as again my gay son will be celebrated in nigeria a headline attributed to okope so now let's now see how daddy puts his hand around uh, his son former presidential aide doni okope has said that his gay son bolu okope will one day be celebrated in nigeria and globally Bolu revealed his sexuality via an Instagram post showing him holding an LGBTQ flag with the caption, Yes, I am gay, AF. Reacting to the news, Okupe, who served in the Good Luck Jonathan administration that passed an anti-gay law, expressed his displeasure about uh, same-sex coupling. He knows that as a Christian and a witness for Christ and evangelist, I am vehemently opposed to same-sex coupling as it runs contrary to the avowed precepts of my Christian faith. For me, I look beyond the surface or the physical. Here I see a major spiritual challenge ahead, but I know that as my God liveth, this whole saga will end in praise to the Almighty Jehovah, who I serve day and night, he said. This led to reactions from Nigerians on social media who slammed him for being part of an administration that passed an anti-gay law despite him having a gay son. Some also expressed the opinion that he failed as a father due to his son's sexuality. In an apparent reaction, Okupe shared a screenshot of a magazine that showed another son of his listed amongst the most influential Africans in 2017. He said, this is also my son, Demumi Okupe one of Bolu's five other brothers. I love all the children God has given me, Bolu inclusive. I pray for them to excel in their fields of endeavors. Bolu will still be celebrated on this wall in Nigeria and globally in Jesus' name. He added, Bolu is not a criminal. He lives in France where same-sex coupling is not a crime. His present mindset and sexual orientation do not conform to Christian doctrines which I hold with my life, but I am certain that with the boldness he has made his declaration, he will still use the same attribute to serve God and boldly declare his glory in Christ. Mark my words. So here is now Okupe now, uh, a, a complex one. From the headline, I had originally thought that he was uh, standing by his son and backing him up and saying, it's my son, uh, no matter what. And he, he is saying that, but in a qualified manner. So his original reaction, of course, was to go to the to the to the bible and hide within the bible and then uh, make some sort of like a pronouncement that has like uh not clearly defined effectively but the upshot of what he has said was that this was against the tenets of what he believed in and he will be prayerful to uh, help his son through what he described 
as trying times. But then, of course, of the backlash that he got uh, for that rather tepid uh, reaction, he has then uh, doubled down somewhat by flashing up a, a, a high achieving son, one of his high achieving sons, to say that because, of course, in the criticisms that he got for his uh, tepid reaction to his son uh, coming out uh, in, in, on Instagram, uh, the people inclusively are uh, uh, accusing him of uh, failing as a father. He was then really forced to cite that example of a successful son that he has. That look, no, you can't get it right all the time. And here is an example of how I have gotten it right. And he's uh, gone on to say that he has not given up on his son. But the part that is now uh, gone on to say is that uh, his son is not a criminal because same sex coupling. Uh, in France, unlike in Nigeria, it's not a crime. So now he was, of course, I mean, I, this, you say somebody is part of an administration, everybody is part of an administration, so long as you have a federal government uh, title to your job description. So how much of the administration he was, I don't really know. But being an aide and a spokesperson to Good Luck uh, Jonathan, he was close enough to the administration to take responsibility for the actions of the administration so he was part of the administration of course that made what his son is now illegal in nigeria so the people then in nigeria that are of the inclination of his son he has criminalized them but then for of course from the monies that he looted he has insulated his son in france where uh, what uh, the son is is not a crime so now is that boy now allowed to travel into nigeria is the question and should that boy be arrested on arrival in Nigeria is the next logical question because he by his own admission has now stated that he is as he is and how he is is of course against the laws of Nigeria so this is the position that the Okupe family find themselves in but how are you uh, deciphering and uh, unpicking this is my question come on pick in the comment section and be mindful of the language because uh this is one of those sort of our uh, topics that our uh, youtube are likely to strike on so uh, be mindful of the language but uh come on pick in the comment section but before you come into the comment section to unpick click on the red subscribe button so it turns gray the bell button notifies you every time i drop a new video click on like as well because that uh, helps with the youtube uh, algorithm uh Donny Okupe has taken a, uh, uh, a position, but the position that he is taking is as clear as mud, which i.e. means totally unclear. Nobody is the wiser what his position is. So you can pick sides though in the comment section. So I'll leave you here. Carry this conversation on with you in the comment section. But here I say.